day the SL9 incident took place. That was in the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transfer. Interesting. There's so many similarities. It was drizzling that morning. By nightfall, there was thunder. I can't believe two years have already by have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered. The evidence locker was empty. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Miss Starr was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? They did something to him too, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean, Damon Gantz and Lana Sky. The investigation lead, Damon Gant, and his second in command, Lana Sky. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. That case was the biggest step in both of their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. Everyone who knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. On a secret. It all started two years ago. I think Gant murdered the brother. I think Gant did it. Gant is behind all of it. So there you have it. Uh, excuse me. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. Oh! Oh! That was new animation. Too bad I won't be around to work with you. Too bad. Uh, read this. When you become a real scientific investigator. Oh, Don't make me feel bad now. Adios, Bambina. No, Marshall! Damn. Now can we go in here? Or... Okay, it looks like new text. Place is always pretty empty, but today is deserted. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, if you're looking for the others, they're all in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Wow, he actually talked to us. With the chief prosecutor saying what he she did and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial, there's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Except it's not really happy and go lucky. Um, sir, we like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. Just use the connecting hallway to the other building to take the elevator to the top floor. Wow, I didn't think we would just be given access like that. Okay. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Emma, don't question it when it's what we fucking need. Hey, you're right. You can't go in there. It's off limits. 
You dumbass Emma. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gives us unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the chief's office. Okay. What the fuck kind of office is that? That's not a regular office. This definitely like boss level kind of vibes. Whoa, where am I? In the chief's office, office silly. At least that's what it said on the door. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Bach. Bach. Thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. Oh, sorry, that was Emma. How about don't announce yourself, dumbass? <laughs> I never could remember what C was. Hmm? Holy fuck. Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant! He put that paper he was reading in his desk. So, righto, have you been swimming lately? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. Not be on my desk, ma'am. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full, too, with Mr. Marshall's misconduct. And Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement. Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Yeah, no shit, Phoenix. <laughs> Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies! See that big picture on the wall over there? <gasps> it's the vase from the 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 case. Oh, and there used to be a sword on that trophy oh weird and then a weird lance right in front of Lana weird this, this is all gonna be relevant watch it's fucking phoenix right it's all gonna be relevant that's a picture of Lana Neil and me so this is Mr. Marshall's brother prosecutor Neil Marshall we took it to commemorate our work together it's not right with this picture. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, though. The trophy. Can't team picture added to the core record. Okay. Anyway, I like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. I'm gonna lock up here, so let's go out together. Oh... But this office... It was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long been over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. All the same, we'd... Oh, sorry. All the same, we'd still like to have a look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said there's no need to investigate it anymore. Yeah, I don't trust that motherfucker. Now hurry up and get out! I didn't have a meeting to attend. Yeah, I figured it wasn't gonna be easy. <sighs> Looks like we aren't welcome. It seems that case isn't over with yet after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. I mean, normally I'd argue it's possible that he just wants his privacy because it is his office and I wouldn't want people just randomly searching around in there, but also because I think he's guilty as all hell. Um, yeah. You mean, you mean like a clue? There's gotta be a way we can get inside the chief's office. Okay. Where are we going then? Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe, aren't you supposed to be in a meeting? I'm, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. From sitting so long? Actually, I'm serving everyone coffee. 
Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No, why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. Almost like the battles between you two in court. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. Thanks. Well, why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Honest Guy is the guilty party here, isn't she? I wouldn't say that as her defense attorney, Mr. Phoenix. <sighs> and in front of her sister? Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence they present in court. Not only that. But as you know, there have been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. His amazing talent as a prosecutor has kept him safe from those who don't like him. But now, with this... Are there really so many people who hate him? In our world, only those with talent rise to the top. Mr. Edgeworth not only has that, but he's young. There's no better recipe I know for making enemies. Hey, Dick! Keep up the good work! Yes, sir! Let's go out for lunch again sometime. My treat! Yes, sir. You ought to take me back to that joint sometime, okay, Dick? Yes, sir. Seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm certainly not. I'm careful not to stick out. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth just might crack. Actually, I took a lot. I took a look at the file earlier while the coffee was brewing. Seems totally concerned for Edgeworth. Well, did you find out anything? The only evidence Dark left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean... And he killed Prosecutor Marshall, who was trying to protect some girl. Me. It seems Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was the girl. That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Oh, um... Let's see, I think it had something to do with the murder weapon. Oh, I forget. Look, it's all written somewhere in here, okay? His powers of recollection never fail to impress. <laughs> Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. Uh, sure. Joe Dark was 42 at the time of the crime. He was just your run-of-the-mill businessman businessman what made him take to serial killing what made him pick up the profession of murdering multiple people over a span of time one day on his way home from work he hit someone with his car with his car so it was an accident an accident yes but it transformed him into an animal an animal he killed a man that witnessed the accident. Then he killed a lady who saw the second crime. A kid walked by just then, so he killed him too. Then a, a jug came and see him was killed as well. Finally, he turned himself. <laughs> Do you fucking mean to tell me that he just kept murdering because he was bad at keeping it discreet? So he got that to keep killing. Witness after witness after witness. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shouldn't be funny, but... <laughs> he was so bad at murdering that he had to keep murdering. Because <laughs> he kept fucking leaving witnesses. <gasps> oh my word. How is that worse than just he got a thrill for killing after killing a person so he kept killing? How is it worse than it's like, well, one person saw him murder that person so he had to murder that person but then a lady saw him murder that person so he had to murder the lady but then a kid was walking by so he had to murder the kid but then a jogger came by so he murdered... 
Oh, my word. That doesn't sound real. It doesn't sound real. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay. Seems it was a pretty careless animal. Of course, it's all conjecture. There wasn't a single shred of evidence. That's the weirdest conjecture you can make, though? Thanks for the hydrate. Hold on. Goodness, what is that all about? Weird. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Um... So he turned himself in. Yes, but the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim. Prosecutor Marshall. That crime was witnessed by someone too, but luckily Dark was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing that last witness wasn't killed. That last witness, aka Emma, who's hella traumatized right now. Okay, um, they wanted me to show him the murder weapon, which is this one. Um, about this. Hey, is that? It has a tag attached to it with the label SL9 incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, that knife's been locked away in a locker. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, the silently disappeared from the locker. And it was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler. <gasps> That's it! Now I remember what that incriminating piece of evidence was. You show me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what is it, Detective? Quick, before you forget again! This knife, it was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? That's right. We traced it back to the store he bought it at. Plus, it had his fingerprints on it too. But no one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broken. Okay. You don't have to take a good look to notice that. Yeah, well, anyway. Take a guess where the broken tip of the knife was found. That's what did him in. Where was it? The victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it inside his own body. Wah! It's found deep inside the stab wound. Did it match Dark's knife? You bet. Down to the last fiber. That's pretty conclusive. Neil's autopsy report added to the core record. Aw, that is rude. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Webtoon. <laughs> Switchblade knife updated in the core record. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. That's all I know. Can I ask you one more thing? What is it? If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. It's not money, but it does concern the Chief. This office is a crime scene, right? It's where Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered. The Chief's out now, and his office is locked. But we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. Well, any detective's ID card can unlock the door. What? Really? But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with breach of trust. Breach of trust? Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. But we can use Goodman's ID, because we still haven't. Sorry, pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. Valid. Valid, gumshoe. How about this ID card? It was Detective Goodman's. That won't work either. Oh, damn it. 
Damn it! That won't work either. The data was deleted the day he died. Oh. So in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into that office. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but sure. You don't have a... Okay? Oh. About that jar. I think I've seen it before somewhere. Somewhere? Or maybe it's one of those memories people have from previous lives. Must be the most uninformative detective I've ever met. The thing about it makes me feel uneasy. It's like I'm in the chief's office and he's yelling at me. Chief Gant? Where could I have seen that before? In this! Ah, damn it. Okay, it's not what they want me to share. I don't know. Present. Um, Mr. Edwards' presentation. To think people are accusing him of injustice. I for what I'm buying it, pal. You like it's a case for Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal while it was going on, you know. After all, the serial killer was on the loose. Lana was pretty clear with her confession. Forged evidence in order to prove Joe Dark guilty. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to, like, show him to be like... Change your mind, please. That's it. That's the king the prosecutor's award was Edgeworth uh, got the other day. Read the awards summary, Dr. Tec Detective Gumshoe. Of course, pal. Got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Uh, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to show him? That's supposed to make him change his mind. supposed to show him. I don't understand. Seeing as that we're piercing heart, lung. Die from blood loss in under 10 minutes. Weapon found in moon was missing tip. What the fuck does he want from me? Spots all of that stuff. Now I can go around detecting blood traces too. Wow, is that a new type? I've never seen that bottle before. Add three inches to your base height. Base height? Hey, let me see that. Blooming tall. New and improved growth formula. <laughs> you bought looming tall instead of luminol. <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's called. Luminol, yep. I mean, this can't detect any blood traces? Uh, well, it's not quite the same thing as luminol. So that's why the lady at the counter had that smirk on her face. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to show him, though? Be like, hey, give us your card, we want to investigate. Every time we meet, pal. Real men show the police badge. Enough said. Not a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. I'm supposed to show him something. What the fuck am I supposed to show him? Game, I don't know what the fuck you want from me. Maybe... Hold on. So 
a way to... Maybe if I show her... Oh. Be like, hey, this is the victim. Oh no, I can't like present people. Like, please help her. She just wants closure. I don't know, I'm gonna like start showing everything. I do is like a mentor to me. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm skipping dialogue. I just I don't know what the fuck this game wants from me. I said to show him something, but maybe I don't have it yet. We're like, look, Chief Gant's ID is pretty suspicious. Maybe. 4 20 p.m. The victim detective Goodman must have entered the evidence room along with someone else. Someone with an executive office number. Seven, seven, blah, 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 blah. That's one seven too many, detective. Executive officer. I might I just might have a hunch. Okay, that wasn't helpful. Read all this. Oops. going through everything because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, I don't know. I really tried everything, so we're just gonna move on, I guess. Thank you. 